And let's begin. Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Welcome, welcome as this day, evening. which is Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here. We will continue working on this section number four. This is class 11. Um, and the name of this section is the July wrap. In this section, we like working with simple present tense, talking about things that you like. For example, um, music, right? So that is the thing we are working so far. Today, we're going to work also with questions where we do using do. So it's nice to have you. I wish you the best. Welcome, welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, let me check how many do we have. We have around 11. Okay. Just let me uh, rename. Uh, which is this one. Okay. Um, let's check. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I think I did a mistake. Oh, sorry. Oh, this one is... Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's have this one. Uh, we have like 15 students already. So it's nice to have you. Don't forget that you need to do the exercise that you have in the platform. Right, so you can um keep practicing the grammar content that we have available, and don't forget that you need to participate here in class. Um, I will take the attendance. So when you hear your beautiful name, say present or um here. Just give me a minute. Oh, Jesus! Give me a minute. I need to check the attendance really quick. Just um. Give me a minute. Okay, let me check. Yeah. No, it's not this one. So it's going to be the other one. Okay. This one is. Give me a minute. So I can change. Okay, I will check the attendance. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. We're gonna have Allison. Hello, Allison. Are you here? So no. Uh the boy. It's gonna be Wednesday the thirtieth. Okay, let me check. Um Alison, she's not here. What about um Anna Marisol Zamora? Anna Marisol? Hello? No. Okay. Um, um Andrea Represa. Hello, Andrea. Are you here? E, no. Okay. What about you, um Andrea Landos? Hello, Andrea. Are you here? Andrea? No? Okay, she is in here. Okay, what about Barbara? Hello, Barbara. Cabrera, are you here? Yes or no? No, okay. What about Brenda? Hello, Brenda. Hello, 
It's nice to have Bye, you one more time. Thank you. Hiroki, Brenda. Um, Carolina del Carmen. Hello, Carolina. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez. Thank you, Claudia. Cristina America Monge. Cristina America. Hello, hello, Cristina. No? Okay, she's absent. Okay. What about Daniela Asensio? Daniela, are you here? No? Okay, what about Edgar Portillo? Edgar Portillo. Good Hello. evening to share. Thank Present. you. Nice to have you one more time. Ernesto Ventura. Hello, Hello I'm here. Perfect. Um, Griselda Lisset Moreno. Hello, Griselda. Are you here? No? Okay. Let's continue with somebody else. Uh, okay. What about Ivania Mendoza? Ivania Mendoza? No. Um, Jennifer Torres? Jennifer Torres? Are you here, Jennifer? Yes or no? No. Okay, she is absent. Let's continue. Oh, that's you, Jennifer Torres? Jen Jennifer, that's you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss, are you here? No? Okay. Um, Jennifer Marroquin. No. Oh, Jocelyn Mancia. Hello. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, Jocelyn. It's nice to have you one more time. Karen Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Carla Colocho. Carla Colocho. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. I'm here. Um, Laura Molina. Present. Thank you so much, Laura. Uh, what about Leslie Orellana? Present. Thank you, Leslie. What about Lisbeth Martinez de Rodriguez? Lisbeth. No? Okay. Um, Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Hello, Lorena. Are you here? Yes or no? Okay, she's absent. Um, Lucia Cepeda. Thank you, Lucia. Are you here? No? Present, yeah. Thank you so much, Lucia. Um, Mayra Mendez. She's absent. Raul. Good evening. Good evening. Rodi Dalila Barahona. Hello, Rodi, Dalila. No? Hello, teacher. Present. Oh, yes, yeah, she Hello. is. Hello. Yeah. Um, Present, Ruth teacher. Del Carmen. Present. Thank you so much, Ruth. Um, and we're going to have Stephanie Abigail. I'm here, mister. It's nice to have you, Stephanie. Okay, people, let's begin with this class. As you may know, we're going to have some, like, We'll continue working the material that we have available for today, which is this one. Oh, Griselda, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Jennifer Guadalupe. Torres and Griselda, Lisa. Okay, thank you so much. I got your names here. Okay, we're gonna watch a video about a conversation and then we will practice. Okay, let's listen and watch. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. 
As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. In this lesson... Sorry, I was mute. Let's take a look up some examples here. Yes? Este, no sé si mi, mi internet, pero miro todo borroso, las letras no distingo. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo también, Picho. Okay, ¿quién más ve borroso la pantalla? Let me show you again. Yo, teacher. Yo, Yo también. Yo, teacher. ¿Todos? Yo también. Creo que sí. Yes. Yo también. Hola, amigo. El video es todo borroso. Sí, el, el video probablemente yes, pero ahorita que estoy compartiendo something, ¿cómo lo ven? Ah, ahorita está bien. bien. Yo lo veo bien. Se ve bien. Ok. Yes, sí, el video por rato se ve así. I'm sorry. Ok. okay son 40 megas. Ok, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, let's do this exercise. Complete with short answer. We have at the beginning with does and does. Does so speak English? What is the answer? Uh, Raul, what is the answer with number one? Yes. Uh huh. So, yes. Does he does so speak English? Yes, he. Yes, he. Speak English. Okay, we need to give a short answer. Short answer, okay? Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry, that is incorrect. Uh, mm -hmm. Anybody else? Oh, the yes, question is, yes, he does. Yes, exactly. He does. exactly. The question is, does so speak English? So the answer is, yes, he does. Okay. Yes, he does. Very good. What about number two? Does Tini work in a bank? The, question, the answer is, no. What is next? No, he's... No, he... He doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. No, he doesn't. Very good. Okay. No, he doesn't. What about number three? What is the question in number three? Anybody? Does he does he does like streaming? Like exactly. Again, we're gonna have does he like swimming? What is the answer? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Peace. Okay. Right. Exactly. What about number four? What is the answer? What is the question number four? Does Jimmy? Yes. What is the answer to this one? Yes. Yes. He yes. He does. Yes, he does. Yes. Thank you. What about number five? What is what is the question in number five? Does he have does. a new cell phone? Beautiful. Okay, what is the answer? No? She doesn't. No, she doesn't. Very good. No, she doesn't. Yeah. So this is short answer. Yesterday we were working with this thing about short answer. What is the meaning of short answer? Is when we have these typical questions like does. Yeah. So the answer is yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. That is a short answer. You're giving something really quick. Okay, let's take a look at more examples with this one. We have this beautiful conversation that we were watching in the video. We are going to practice this one a little bit, okay, in class. 
we are going to select random people for participation. The first one is going to be you, Raul, and your partner is going to be Lucia Cepeda de Herrera. Okay, so Raul, usted va a ser Dave, y Lucia, you are Susan. Are you ready? Yes. Please begin. I have a ticket to a soccer match on Friday night. Where you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, it'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven three zero. Okay, why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you so much. Just pronunciation. We have Friday and 7.30, 7.30, but the rest was quite good. Okay, perfect good. Thank you so much, Lucia and Raul. Great job. Okay, let's continue with you. Yes, Griselda, Griselda. Hello, hello, Griselda, can you participate? Okay, Claudia, you are going to be Susan. And what is Edgar? Edgar, can you participate? Yeah, you... ready. Okay, so you're gonna be Dave, Edgar. Okay, ready? Okay. Let's begin. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Excuse me. Um, you are Susan, Claudia. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, solo que se ve un poquito borroso, teacher. Oh, I see. Thanks. I've loved to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That second great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh it like to, but I have to work late. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's <clears throat> let us meet at this stadium before the match around seven. Um, around seven oh, thirty past past thirty. Okay, well, why don't we why don't we meet at the gate? That second fine. See you, see you there. Okay, we have that sounds. Sounds we have again 7 30, 7 30. Okay, uh, but the rest was quite good. Great job, thank you so much. Uh, Andrea Marisol, teacher. Okay, Andrea Marisol, no problem. Thank you so much for letting me know. I got you here. Welcome one more time. Okay, let's work with you, Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. Jennifer. Guadalupe Torres, and where is Carla Melissa Colocho? Okay, so that's you, Carla, and Jennifer Torres. Jennifer, you are Dave, and Carla, you are Susan. Okay, Carla, are you ready? Wonderful, let's begin. Yes. Jennifer, <laughs> Excuse me. Ed. Okay, one more time. Jennifer, you are Dave, and Carla, you are Susan. Okay. 
Oke, okay, oke. Okay. I have stickers of the soccer match on for the night. Will you like to go? Thanks. I love I love to. What time does it start? <laughs> at at a eight. That's so great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, it's late, too, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Oh, okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. See you there. See you there. Thank you so much. Let's continue with some participation. Great job. Jocelyn Mancia. Jocelyn. Sí. You are Dave and your partner, um, let me see. Leslie, you are Susan Leslie eh, Orellana. Are you ready, Leslie? Leslie, are you ready? Yes, teacher. That's wonderful. Please, let's begin. Okay, initial. I had the cakes to the exhaustion match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. One time does is start. Half a o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have a diner at six o'clock? Oh, oh, and like too bad I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet and the stadium before match and around 7.30 o'clock. Okay, why don't we make up the gig? That's so fine. See you there. Thank you so much. We have a few mistakes on pronunciations, like, for example, um, so do you want to have dinner at six? Um, also, we have this expression, which is stadium, stadium. Uh, 7.30, around 7.30. If we have 7.30, no decimos o'clock, okay? So we just say around 7.30, and that's the way we do it. Very good. Thank you so much, Ruth. You are next, Ruth. You are Dave. And uh, Stephanie Quintanilla, you are Susan. Okay, Ruth, chicas, are you ready? And uh, Stephanie Quintanilla? Hello. Okay, mister. Perfect. Okay. So again, uh, Ruth, you are Dave and Stephanie, you are Susan. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's, let's begin. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At Eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? <laughs> I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's show, let's host meet at the stadium before that match around seven and thirty. Okay, why don't we? I ya no veo. Que me puedo Okay, uh, why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you later. I know. See you three. See you there. See you there. Okay, we have just yes, a few mistakes like would, 
would you like to go? Would. And we have the expression just. Just. But the rest is, is very good. Thank you so much. Question for you, Andrea Landos. What is this conversation about? Sobre qué trata la conversación? Exactly. Thank you so much. Um, de acompañar al estadio a ver el, el partido el sábado en la noche. Eh, viernes, viernes. Y se ponen de acuerdo para verse en el estadio porque la eh, Susan no puede. Eh, no, Dave no puede porque trabaja tarde. Are they going to have dinner together? Le pregunta si quieren cenar, pero él tiene que trabajar hasta tarde. Entonces se van a quedar de ver este, en el estadio. Um, what's the time? Uh, 7.30. Exactly, 7.30. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We're going to have some practice on this thing. Are you free this weekend? You need to write two things you need to do this weekend and glue the time. Two things that you do on Saturday and two things that you do on Sunday. Okay? Yeah. Easy peasy. You need to write two things you need to do this weekend and include the time. Okay? So on Saturday, what are you going to do on Saturday? And what are you doing uh, on Sunday? Yes? Two examples for Saturday and two examples with Sunday. Yes? Questions at home? Is this clear? Clear people? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you like five minutes to do this one and then raise your hand if you finish so I can hear your participation. If not, it's gonna be random people, okay, that will be selected. Okay, si alguien no entendió lo que va a hacer en este ejercicio, avise. Un ejemplo, ¿Cómo vamos a hacer? Oh, okay, so me va a escribir cosas that you do on Saturday y cosas que usted va a hacer el Sunday. Yes, dos cosas por cada día. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Por ejemplo, ¿qué hace el Saturday? I don't know, comprar las tortillas, I don't know. You cook, I don't know. Maybe you play soccer, maybe you watch TV, I don't know. Cosas que hace you, you on Saturday. Y luego Sunday, ¿qué hace on Sunday? Two things. Y tiene que escribirme el time. El time. Digamos, 8 a.m., 7 p.m., at noon, things like that. Okay? Yes, questions. Questions at home. Si alguien no entendió la actividad, avíseme. O si lo veo borroso, avíseme. So I can send you a picture in the chat. Yes? I send you the picture in the chat on, on WhatsApp so you can have it in case you don't see it very well on the screen. Okay, so I need you to figure it out like and give me two examples of the things that you do on the weekend. In this case, we have two days, right? That is the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So just give me some examples that you do on the weekend, okay?
If you finish, you can tell me your example so I can like check the grammar part that you have in it. Uh, just let me know. Raise your hand if you finish so I can check your exercises. Okay. Um, remember that this is about like it doesn't matter if you do mistakes. The idea is you do it so then I can check them all right. Uh, if you have a question, how to do these sentences, again, let me know so I can help you with it, right? Uh, or si no entiende lo que estamos haciendo, let's, let me know so I can explain to you. This is about doing sentences about something that you do uh, this weekend, right? Something that you need to do might be like, I don't know, like everybody does different things. So um, uh, let me hear your sentences. Andrea Marisol. And then you, Carolina, okay? Okay. Um, I have a salsa class on Saturday at 4 p.m. Está bien, teacher? <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, carry on. Okay, uh, okay. Primero, primero los escucho y luego al final los corrí, okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, and then I'm going to the cinema with my family at night. Uh, on Sunday, uh, I have to clean my house early in the morning. <laughs> and I have a builder celebration, celebration at 1 p.m. A birthday party. That's great. Everything is perfect. Wonderful. No mistakes. Okay. A great job. Okay. A great Thank job. You. Fantastic, Andrea. Okay. Uh, Carolina, okay. you're next. Uh, on Saturday, I go to work at 7 a.m. And I make dinner at 7 p.m. And Sunday, I go to church at 8 a.m. and visit my family at 3 p.m. Yeah, very good. Solo en el último dice, I'm visiting, o solo dijo visiting. Uh, visiting. On, on Sunday. I'm visiting my family, you told me. It's like, I'm visiting, like I am visiting, or just visiting. What is the structure that you write? Mm -hmm. Carolina, tell me. I go visiting my family. I go visiting my family. Mm. I mean, the same the statement is, is, is correct, Carolina. However, however, sí le recomiendo que vaya directo con el verbo. You know what I mean? On Sunday, I visit 
my parents. Okay. Exactly. Vaya directo con that. Porque escucha un poquito de Spanish interference. You know what I mean? I mean, it is correct, but normally, yo lo diría directo. Okay. On, on Saturday, I visit my family. Yep. Okay. Just like that. Very good. Thank you so much. Brenda, you're next. On Saturday, Saturday I play soccer with my friends. At 10 a.m. And I go to the park with family at 4 p.m. On Sunday, I stay at home all day. And I watch movies at night. Beautiful. Yes, we have Sunday. Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Okay, that's pronunciation. The rest, everything is perfect. Oh, very good. That was wonderful, Brenda. A great job. Okay. So okay. the rest of you at home, when you're ready, if you want to participate, raise your hand. We still have uh, like three minutes for this one. And then we will move on to the next activity for today. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Oh, tell me, please. Uh, eh, con referente al texto anterior, eh, siempre he tenido esa incertidumbre como en qué momentos tengo que usar it's okay y, y en qué momento debo de usar that's okay. Well, it, it means the same. Significa lo mismo. Uh, yo sé, significa lo mismo, pero... Lo que pasa es que a veces sí veo como it's okay y a veces veo that's okay. Entonces, no sé si en el mismo contexto o tengo que ver el tipo de contexto para poder usar it's okay o that's okay. Mm, well, actually, no hay, no hay diferente contexto. Lo único que cambia es, es, es the grammar, que sería este, right? That's okay. Y en el otro utiliza el pronombre it's okay. I mean, al final significan lo mismo. You know what I mean? Entonces, digamos que, o sea, puedo usar, puedo usar cualquiera de los dos. Exacto. Con el que usted se ah, sienta okay. más cómoda, con ese va. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, Thank you, a veces utilizamos las formas largas un poquito para como ser más enfático en algo. Yeah. Um, but if you want to say, it's okay for me, or you can say, oh, that's okay for me. Yeah. But at the end means the same. It's like. Y igual, usted oh. no tiene que tener como una pauta para eso. Al final, solo lo único que cambia es el that's y en otro es el it's, right? Ok, pero no es que that's ok sea más formal que it's ok. Um, no, los dos son iguales. Los son dos iguales. Son iguales. Oh. Mm -hmm. Los okay. dos son iguales. Like, at the end, Thank it's you. just up to you which one are you going to use, you know? Ok. Ok, Perfect. thank you. Great question. Um, ok. Let me see. We're going to move on to the next activity for today, which is this one. We have some questions in here, right? We have some questions like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Do you like to watch TV? I need you to write these questions in your notebook. I need you to answer these questions, okay? I need you to write these questions and as well answer these questions. Primero, write the questions in your notebook, okay? Escriba las questions in your notebook. Yep. Escriba las questions. Luego, you need to answer this question. Le voy a dar five minutes para que haga eso. Five minutes to do that. Para contestar y para escribir, you need to write a question and answer y responder las questions, right? The first one is, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay. So if you notice, we have three questions and the other three questions go related, right? So the first one, do you like to watch TV? Va relacionada con what programs do you like? 
The next question, do you like music? Va relacionada, what videos do you like? And then the third one, do you play any, I'm sorry, do you play a musical instrument? And the last question, which musical instrument do you play? Yeah, so write the questions and answer the questions and then be ready. Again, if you do not understand, si no entiende lo que estamos haciendo in this part, raise your hand, levante la mano so I can explain to you what is this thing about. Again, we're working with simple present tense and how do we discuss about this, right? We have a lot of material to talk about with simple present and talking about music or playing instruments, one of those, yep. So again, write the questions, answer the questions, and when you're done, be ready so you can participate in class. Again, if you have a question or if you finish, raise your hand so I can hear your answers on this one, okay? Hello, Mr. Uh, son respuestas cortas. Oh, oh, in Ernesto, you need to identify that. Necesito que identifique eso. Ok, y luego me las dice. Y ahí lo corrijo. Serían respuestas yep. cortas. Ernesto. Ernesto, necesito que identifique en cuáles. Hola, hola. Necesito que identifique en cuáles preguntas puede hacer una respuesta corta y en cuáles necesita una respuesta larga. Ok. Okay. Necesito que lo, que lo intente y luego me las dice y yo con gusto le digo, oh, ahí necesito una respuesta corta y ahí necesito una respuesta larga. Very good. Okay. Perfect, perfect.
Ok, Andrea Marisol. Ok. Um, do you like to watch TV? No, I don't like the TV. <laughs> um, do you like music? Yes, I like it a lot. Do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't. Uh, what program do you like? Uh, este, esta es parecida a la que dijo ayer, como que recuerdo que era como, eh, como yes, I like a sitcoms program. Sí, creo que así se llama. Exacto. Wonderful. <laughs> Carry on. Okay. Uh, and what videos do you like? Um, I like eh, funny videos o fan videos, no sé cómo decir eso. Como de, como videos divertidos. Oh, no sé funny, cómo. funny videos. Funny, ok, yep. ok. I like funny videos. And which musical instrument do you play? So, I don't play <laughs> a musical instrument. Perfect. Great job. Okay. okay. Just uh, in the first two, you can give your answer if, if you want. I mean, because you mentioned like, um, yes, I do uh, like music, right? That's what you said. But you can just say, it, yes, I do. Uh, do you like okay. to watch TV? Oh, yes, I do. Do you like to uh, okay. music? Yes, I do. Right. Um, very good. The rest is perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, for it's working like that because you're doing it very good. Somebody else at home? Oh, that's you, Brenda. Ready? Let's begin. Um, number one, do you like to watch TV? Yes, I do. Uh, number two, do you like music? Yes, I do. Uh, number three, do you like play? Uy. <laughs> Do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't. And uh, number four, what programs do you like? I like cooking shows mm -hmm. and novels. <laughs> uh, number five, what videos do you like? I like funny, funny videos. And uh, number six, which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? No, I don't play any instruments music. music. Wonderful. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. A very good, Brenda. Great job. Okay. Thanks. That was excellent. Somebody else, raise your hand if you want to participate. Or again, if you do not understand this exercise, raise your hand as well so you can let me know anytime. Okay. Anytime. Uh, so we can help you out with this one. Lucia, ready? Please, go ahead. Teacher, I, I have a question. Primero, okay. eh, quiero saber si donde dice, do you like to watch TV? Se puede decir, yes, I like. O solo, yes, I do. Tiene que contestar siempre con el yes, I do. Y yeah, exacto. Siempre ah. tiene que, puede decir, yes, I do, like to watch TV, just to emphasize. O si quiere lo más simple es, yes, I do. Y en el caso que, eh, en esa pregunta, do you like to watch TV? Yo digo, yes, I like the movies. Um, estaría incorrecto porque me lo está españolizando. You know what I mean? Tendría que decir, yes, I do, y I like the movies. Exactly, I like movies. Mm -hmm. 
después de eso, ¿ok? Ok. Sí, entonces, do you like music? Eh, yes, I do. I like pop, pop music. Beautiful. Do you play a musical instrument? No, I don't. What program do you like? I like this. I like, yes, I do. Uh, I no, like... Excuse me, excuse me. En ese ya no necesita contestar con yes, I do, porque aquí es diferente. Ok. Ah, aquí, ok. Aquí sí, porque tengo do. Ok. Mm -hmm. Aquí, como tengo what, tiene que contestarme con una respuesta larga en la agua. Ok. What program do you like? I like uh, the sitcom program. Very good. What videos do you like? I like funny videos. Which musical instrument do you play? I don't play musical instrument. Beautiful. Very good. Okay. Great job. Let me take it to take the attendance one more time. And then when I finish, Lucia and Anna. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, Alison Celaya. Alison Celaya, are you here? Alison, no, Alison, she isn't here. Um, Anna Marisol Zamora. Present teacher. Wonderful, nice to have you. Um, Andrea Marisol Represa. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Wonderful. Um, Barbara Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Barbara. Um, Brenda Castro. Present teacher. Carolina del Carmen Pérez. Present teacher. Perfect. Claudia López. Present mi teacher. Thank you, Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina. Okay, she is absent. By what about um, Daniela Asensio? Daniela Asensio. Present. Perfect. Thank you so much, um, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. One more time, Ernesto Misael. Present teacher. Perfect. Griselda Moreno. Griselda Moreno. No, okay, let's go carry on with Ivania. I think she's absent, right? Um, Jennifer Torres. Okay, let me check, let me check, let me check the chat really quick. What is the chat? Chat. Andrea Marisol Represa, she's here. Uh, Griselda, you're here, right? Let me check Griselda that. Okay, Griselda, she's here. Um, okay. Um, Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss. Are you here? Uh, Moss. No, she is in. Okay. Um, Jennifer Marroquin. Jennifer Marroquin. No, no. Okay, she is absent as well. What about what about um Jocelyn Mancia? Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Karen Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, Karen. Um Laura Molina. Y Present. Carla Colocho. I'm here, teacher. Leslie. Orellana, Lisbeth, Lisbeth Abde Rodriguez. Yes, Thank you, Lisbeth. Um, Lorena del Carmen Hernández Hernández. Uh, Lorena del Carmen Hernández Hernández, no? Okay. Um, Lucía Cepeda. Teacher, excuse me. Oh. Eh, cuando dijo teacher, creo que fui yo la que respondió. Oh, let me check. Thank you. Because oh, who's saying yo? Yo, Leslie. Oh, Leslie. Okay, thank you, Leslie. I'm sorry. It's like uh, Leslie. 
So that means that Laura, she is not here, right? Laura, are you here? Sí, le contesté. Oh, yes. I'm getting confused. Yes, Grisel, I got you here. Thank you so much. Um, so Laura is here. Leslie is here. What about Lisbeth? Lisbeth, are you here? No? Okay, she's not here. Eh, Lorena? Hello, Lorena? No? Okay. Eh, Lucia, you're here, right, Lucia? Eh, yes. Mayra Mendes? Um, Raul? Present. Dalila? Eh, Ruth? Present. Thank Present. you so much. And Stephanie Abigail? I'm okay. Here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get back to the exercise. Like Anna, are you ready, Anna? Give me a minute because this thing is, is loading. I don't have it. Okay, right now, Anna, please. Do you like to watch TV? Yes, I do. Do you like the music? Yes, I do. Do you play mu music, musical instruments? No, I don't. What program do you like? I like cooking show. Uh, what, what videos do you like? I like funny, funny videos. Watch, um, which musical instrument do you like? Do you play? Uh, no, I don't musical instrument. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. Okay. Musical Thank instrument. You, Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, this is about we do and we double H words. Okay. Um, we do is very simple. Uh, uno de sus compañeros me preguntaba si podía contestar, por ejemplo, do you like to watch TV? Me podía contestar, I like to watch TV, right? Um, está incorrecto por lo siguiente, por la estructura de la pregunta, ¿ok? Primero tiene que decirme, yes, I do, or no, I don't, y luego me agrega una oración, en el caso lo desee, ¿ya? Right? Yeah. Si usted quiere hacer, right? Ahora, sí me puede contestar con un short cuando tenemos un do, ¿ok? O cuando tenemos un das. Yo que puedo decir, das Carolina play soccer? No, she doesn't. Oh, yes, she does. Right? Ahora, cuando tengo una de estas, de estas que están acá, what or which, que son question words or double H words, ahí sí tiene que darme una respuesta larga. Ahí no, no puede decir, yes, I do. Ahí no puede decir eso. Tiene que decir la respuesta larga. Una sentence. Una complete sentence with this one, okay? So that is the difference. Uh, unfortunately, the time is over. Thank you so much for being here. Practice your English and we will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. You do the same.